Pennsylvania's state system of higher education, 14 universities, infinite opportunities. This week, we explore the opportunities available at Shippensburg University. First, we'll hear from University President George Harbster. Hello, I'm Frank Brogan, the Chancellor of the State University System of Pennsylvania, representing 14 wonderful universities, and as we like to say, providing infinite opportunities. 110,000 students fill the ranks of our classrooms and laboratories, our campuses in each and every day, and currently over 500,000 graduates of our universities are literally changing the quality of life for the better of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the rest of the country, and even the world. We're very excited today to have one of our 14 university presidents with us, Dr. Jody Harpster. Dr. Harpster is the recently named president of Shippensburg University, great university here in Pennsylvania. So we're delighted to have him with us today. He served as the interim president of Shippensburg on two separate occasions prior to ultimately being named the full-fledged president of Shippensburg U. So we're delighted to have you with us today, Dr. Harpster, and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Chancellor. And could you please give us just a little bit of information generally about Shippensburg University? Sure, I'd be glad to. Shippensburg, as you mentioned, is located near Harrisburg, about 45 minutes away. Small, picturesque community, uh, about 7,500 students, three colleges, uh, uh, business and um, education and human services, and arts and sciences, uh, full range of programs and services. Also the home to the Lawrence Performing Arts Center, which draws a number of people from this region of the state for performances and activities. You know, because you are located in such proximity to Harrisburg, where I work, uh, I've had numerous opportunities to visit the campus of Shippensburg. But I recently had the opportunity to stand in for Dr. Harpster and serve as uh, the person overseeing and, and helping with uh, the commencement exercise uh, this last spring. Dr. Harpster's daughter, uh, just graduated from Westchester University. The graduations were on the same day, and I was very honored when uh, Dr. Harpster asked me if I would stand in for him during that ceremony. And I have to tell you, one of the best commencement exercises I've ever been a part of in my career. I can't say enough about how well it went and how much it was appreciated by the students and their families, and I thank you for that great honor. Well, thank you very much for doing that for us. It allowed me to have the opportunity to be a father. Um, we, I think we consistently say in education, you know, it's all about your children and the students. And that gave me the opportunity to make my daughter first that day. I was very happy to have the opportunity to have you attend to the service for me. Well, it was, as I say, enormously well done and representative of so many of the great things that unfold. But I know you at Chippensburg have some new programs and opportunities that are about to go online for the students of Shippensburg beginning this fall. Uh, one of those we're very excited about, recently approved by the Board of Governors, is your new uh, program in electrical engineering. You want to tell us a little about that? Sure. The electrical engineering program will be the first engineering program in the state system. It's um, designed to build on the computer science, um, computer engineering, and software engineering programs that are already in existence. <clears throat> There'll certainly be a significant element of applied physics also involved in that program. The goal was for uh, 50 students in five years. We're already at 19 students for this fall. So we're already at 40% of the projected five-year capacity. The design of the program will allow students to do special work on the, uh, the enhancement of semiconductors and also give them an opportunity to work very directly with the control of electronic equipment, so both the design and building of that, which allows them to move into many of the industries in the Commonwealth. It clearly is a program that's designed to meet the workforce needs of the Commonwealth. So, um, so any company that builds um, a machinery with electronic components, and today that's almost everything. Um, these students are specifically um, trained to work in those environments. Well, we're excited about it because it begins to bring the world of engineering into our 14 universities, one program at a time. The uniqueness of that allows us to make certain that we're building each of these programs to be very, very special, and more importantly, perhaps, as you mentioned, 
make certain that they line up with the needs of the Commonwealth. This is a good illustration, and I know that the Board of Governors was so very proud to have the chance to pronounce this program ready to get up and operational. We wish you well with it. Thank you. You Thank also you. do some uh, great things in the world of undergraduate research and with research thinking. A lot of folks don't understand that research isn't just a static exercise. It requires an entirely different level of thinking that again is very important as it translates with these students out there into the world of work when they graduate from Shippensburg and our other 13 universities. Tell us a little bit about Minds at Work. Sure. Well, nationally, there's a, a, an expectation growing. I, th I suspect it's always been there to some degree, but it's certainly growing. That engagement in research absolutely enhances and supports the student as they try to leave the institution or when they leave the institution and move into the work world. It's one other opportunity that, that some st campuses can offer that everyone can't do or chooses not to do. We have chosen to do that at SHIP. We call it uh, a high impact um, practice. It's an activity where uh, students mentor, uh, connect and with a faculty mentor, design a research program, sometimes more than one, and then work throughout the year. Unlike large research institutions where there are multi-million dollar grants that are funding and supporting research that may be done for um, the National um, Health uh, Center or someone like that, these really are focus of, of, of an element where they focus on our region, our community, or an area of need that, that's, that's identified. So they may look at um, how the water drains from one of the streams in the area, that sort of thing. Um, the, each year at the conclusion, uh, near the conclusion of the year, the students put together a presentation with their faculty mentor and then present it in a full day what, where we call the Minds at Work Conference that focuses on the students' research and their creativity. It's a very well attended. This past year, over 300 students participated in that. We started in the range of 100 students or so back six or eight or ten years ago and now it's, it's developed to that. Well, level. I'm very fond of telling people that our goal is not to turn out educated drones. Absolutely. Our job and our mission is to make certain that our graduates are ready to plug into the world of the 21st Absolutely. century. And new levels of thinking are simply necessary in order to do that. And it's, a, it's an exciting program that you all operate. Speaking of which, uh, I am a graduate in, in my graduate work of an educational leadership program a long time ago. And I know something else very exciting happening at Shippensburg, and that is the fact that you are about to begin an ed leadership program with a doctorate attached to it. You want to tell us about that one? Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor, for bringing that up. The um, program in educational leadership um, is actually going to be a joint program with Millersville. It's, act, it's already, uh, the first classes are already meeting. Um, I actually attended one of their classes last week as one of the guest speakers and talked about um, educational leadership theory and the challenges that higher education face, faces. It's designed with two very special um, um, foci. One is on um, digital learning and the other is on poverty of the students in the, in, um, the, the, the school district. So it, it attends to the challenges that are faced especially in small rural communities. M many of them are in this region of the state and provide specialized attention for the uh, uh, aspiring superintendents and principals um, or existing superintendents and principals who actually don't have their doctorate yet. Shippensburg has such a long and illustrious career in, in the world of education and something else that you boast and should is the Grace B. Lures uh, University Elementary School on your campus. When the word unique is used, it's oftentimes overused. In this particular case, it's spot on. It is the only such school on any of our 14 state system campuses. Tell us how that works. Sure. Well, the, the Lure School has been in existence for over 100 years. It was, along with all of the other state system schools originally, each of those institutions had to have a model school. So we were started out as teacher training institutions. Each school had the training school for the teachers, and they would literally watch a master teacher provide teaching. That's where they got the, the basis for them th then to leave the institution to become a teacher. So over the years, it um, modified itself uh, into it, because of addressing the needs of the area and became an elementary school in and of itself. 
So it operates kindergarten through fifth grade. There are about 120 students in the school. It's a partner with the Shippensburg Area School District. So it's, it actually is a member of the school's um, operational services, and, um, but provides very special opportunities for our students. Um, students can come in and out and actually work in the classrooms. There are observation rooms adjacent to each classroom for them to watch quietly, hopefully, without the students knowing that they're in there, um, and, and uh, allows special opportunities for uh, connecting parents to their children's education as, as well. It is a very unique opportunity and one that we're very proud of, and um, a, a lot of uh, pride goes into the operation of that program. Well, you are a multifaceted university, both academically and in terms of extra and co-curricular activities, but you do so many things so very well, and thank you. we thank you so much for being with us. The time goes quickly, but I think our viewers have a much better idea about some of the unique programs and some of the special nature that really is Shippensburg University. Dr. Jody Harpster of Shippensburg, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Coming up next, explore more opportunities offered at Shippensburg University. Invest in me. 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 I'll be your future public servant. I'll be your future advertising executive. I'll be your future accountant. I will be your future motivational speaker. I'll be your future lawmaker. I will be your future teacher. Invest in me. I'll be your future videographer. Next, we'll learn how liberal arts programs at Shippensburg teach students skills that can be applied in many career applications. So being here at Shippensburg, I'd have to say the biggest thing for me is that I feel like a person and not a number. You're not just born to pay bills and go away after a while. Um, you're here for a reason and this place has helped me figure out what my reason is. You can pick something that you're really into. It's not just college, you know, it's, it's not, college isn't meant to get you a job. You're here to develop yourself and figure out just what you're capable of. The liberal arts aims to provide students with educational experiences that just broaden their knowledge base, broaden their horizons, and give them a set of tools that they take with them into the world. Critical thinking, problem solving, the ability to filter knowledge, uh, the ability to synthesize new knowledge. Uh, all of those require a base of knowledge from which to select. Uh, they require a skill to go out and gain new knowledge, and liberal arts really aims to do, to do just that. I think that we give our liberal arts graduates a lot of skills, and certainly they get these in, in many, many fields, but the liberal arts specifically are going to be focusing on the ones that um, help students deal with people or with, um, with, with problems. So we have a lot of focus on communication skills and writing skills. I'm going to quote Dr. Liu. Um, he always says that life is a mystery and you never know when you're, wh uh, where you're going to end up and college is the perfect place to start to figure that out. So a liberal arts degree, in my opinion, is a wonderful foundation in terms of communicating with people, bettering yourself. I think one of the under-told stories in Pennsylvania is how m much of a value added education you could get at Chippensburg University. An employer tends to say to somebody, okay, there's X number of graduates coming out of Pennsylvania schools bearing your degrees. What is it that sets you apart? We have a lot of collaborative assignments and projects, for instance, in our classes. Employers always say, we want people who can work in a team and we do that every day in the liberal arts. That is something that we we just, it's part of what we do. So students have to come together, they have to sit down, they're different majors, they come with different skill sets, but it's like, here's our project, how are we gonna solve this problem? And then they do, <laughs> that's what they do every day. Something that concerns me as a dean of 
the College of Arts and Sciences is that people will often misjudge what it is that you gain from coming to a liberal arts school to get your degree because there's not a strong association of the degree title with a job. And one of the things we're working very hard to do is to help students associate those career pathways, not just jobs, but career pathways, with the educational experience that they've had here. So there are all these new jobs as well that our students are really poised well to take over. Students don't quite sometimes see how good of a fit they are. They, they underestimate the skills that they're getting with a liberal arts education. Investing in yourself is one of the best things that you can do. College isn't just a place you go to get a piece of paper that says, oh, I can do something and I can earn money. It's something that you do when you want to better yourself. If you're looking for an investment and one that will stick with you, this is for you, for sure. Next, we'll see how Shippensburg's Honors Program helps students to feel at home on campus. When I was looking at schools, I was comparing education programs and when I met with faculty and hearing from other students, there was no, there was no other choice really besides Shippensburg. Some of the faculty just really reeled me in. They loved what they were teaching, they loved working with students, and I immediately knew I should go to Shippensburg. <laughs> When it comes to why I chose SHIP in particular, I was looking at a variety of different schools. I think I applied to eight actually, all across Pennsylvania and one in New Jersey. But um, Shippensburg was really, when I came to it, I had that feeling immediately of just feeling at home when I stepped on the campus and that's what really got me to choose SHIP over different schools. Shippensburg was really the school that drew my attention the most. Um, I chose to apply to the honors program at Shippensburg because I was in honors classes in high school as well as AP classes. So I wanted to continue to challenge myself and I thought that the honors program at Shippensburg would be a great fit for that. When it comes to why I chose to choose the honors program, I was kind of interested originally during my admission speech when we had a student who was currently in the honors program come and speak about the benefits and the perks of why they chose to um, join the program as well. And at the moment, I didn't know exactly where I wanted to go to school, but I knew that in that moment that I wanted to do the honors program at whatever school I went to. They kind of said, wherever you go, go honors. The honors program was also an important part of my decision to come to Shippensburg uh, based on what I had learned about it just in my own research and from what I had seen. I knew that there definitely would be a lot of opportunities that would be able to uh, result from participating in and being a member of the honors program. Honors classes are fun. Um, they're so engaging. Professors are amazing. They're hand-picked to be our professors so they really know their information. They know how to teach and profess their their um, history and what they know. There's lots of community engagement as well, so we do lots of service outside of classes. And I just love that honors classes bring all of that together. So um, there's, there's lots of critical thinking as well. So it's not as much like book work and busy work. They're more, can we apply what we're learning to the real world and um, how can you grow as a person? Coming in my first year, I decided to be part of the Honors LLC just because uh, I definitely thought that it would give me a good way to meet new people and to start forming relationships with other students who were in the Honors program who shared the same interests or um, had kind of the same mindset about being at college. And that's definitely what I think I found. So a living learning community is an academic community in which Honors students, both first years and sometimes second years, who are taking classes together, two or three classes together, live together on the same floor, and they're there for support, they're there for help, and they're there just to form a close-knit first and second year group of honor students. I first heard about the LLC after I had already become a member of the honors program, and it's just an opportunity that's given to all the incoming freshmen in the honors program as an option of living in the LLC with all their classmates. Even honors orientation sort of builds community in the summer um, with the first year students, but living in the LLC definitely strengthens that community. You get to know everyone um, better than you would know them just by being in class with them. Um, there's 53 students that live on the community, so that's 53 students you can count on in case if you're stressed out or you just want to have fun, and it's a really great community to be in. I just thought it would be good to live with people that I would know well that would be in my classes. So I did decide to live here my freshman year and I'm so glad that I did already. I've only been here a few months but it's opened up a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And I'm just really, I feel really fortunate that I decided to take the chance and go for it. 
Next, we'll discover how Shippensburg students provide service through various programs to discover the deeper meaning of service. A living learning community at Shippensburg is a special community within residence halls and they're just places where you are not only living and learning with people, but you have a specific purpose. The LLC Engaging Service Through Action focuses on three particular outreach points. The Campus Farm, the Shippensburg Produce and Outreach, also known as SPO, as well as the Food Recovery Network. Each one of the networks has a direct impact to our campus and then links into community partnerships. Working with a living learning community, specifically the Engaging Service Through Action, LLC, has really opened my eyes to the different problems that even small communities face. The Shippensburg University LLC focuses on SPO on Tuesdays, where we have the opportunity to go into the organization, whether it's helping sort fruits and vegetables, work with community members to receive their produce, or work directly with our really fantastic AmeriCorps VISTA. I am an AmeriCorps VISTA member, and VISTA stands for Volunteer in Service to America. So what we do is we're placed with nonprofits in communities, helping to build capacity, um, make those organizations stronger. I help connect students to volunteer opportunities, help them to learn more about the groups that I work with, and um, help them get involved. I love putting a smile on people's faces and if I know that I am making their lives better and making sure that they're happy and healthy. Service to me means simply giving back and giving your time. I think that's one of the most important things and one of the most selfless things you can give is your time. And I think that's basically what service means to me, just being somebody that is a resource and somebody that's available. For me, it's a unique experience to see my students want to give back to the community and then make the connection as to why, when they grow both personally, professionally, on and off campus, why it's such a pivotal point when they graduate. I find that my students give back to the community more frequently. There's a deeper sense of connection um, specifically when I was an employer, seeing them truly live out not only their role in a company, but their role within the community. They're walking billboards. We have wonderful students um, that come and help us to be volunteers for Shippensburg Produce and Outreach. Um, they, they're really, really great with our clients too. Our clients look forward to seeing our students um, and interacting with them and talking with them. The students willingly give up their time. They committed themselves to an opportunity to give back, both to the campus and to the community. I was a um, undergraduate social work major, graduating in May of 2015. I learned what I was doing in the classroom was what I was going to be seeing in the community. I really have this mentality that you know service is a huge part of my life. That led me to becoming a VISTA member. This is a great opportunity for me to give back to the Shippensburg community that I think has given so much to me and to other students. And what I find unique is that's not at every campus. It's a part of the culture that allows our students to feel not only engaged but committed, but truly to be ambassadors of goodwill. We all have an opportunity to be active members of our community and we each play a part in it. Next, we'll visit an elementary school located on the Shippensburg campus to learn how students get first-hand experience in a real-world setting. I chose Shippensburg University because I've heard so many people rave about the amazing education program here. I really want to teach abroad, and since that's my goal, I want to learn the strategies that I know are best practice that would be best for the children that I'm going to teach. I want them to have the same opportunities that any child here or anywhere else in the United States would have. I chose Shippensburg University mainly because on my tour they showed us this lab school on campus. G Blues is a special school because of the amount of involvement that the university offers the college students. We have students in and out of our classroom daily. We have student teachers, we have practicum students. Uh, we have observers from all departments across campus. Having a school on campus makes it much easier for the students while they're sophomores and juniors to be able to come down and observe children learn and get to see that firsthand because it's here, it's easily accessible. 150 years ago when the, when, uh, the university was a normal school, they realized 
that teachers who are going to teach children need to have experiences. They couldn't send them out to the rural schools to have experiences, so they opened up a lab school on campus in Old Maine, uh, from children from first to eighth grade, and the students at that time developed lessons and taught lessons, and they were the teachers in those classrooms. So from that early start, the lab school has progressed and grown along with the university. So really the lab school has been a part of the university, either a college or the normal school, since the inception. And that's one of the reasons we've survived where other university lab schools have not, because of our deep historical roots. I decided to student teach here at uh, G Blues because I want to challenge myself. Student teachers here with the Taylor internship have to go above and beyond just the student teaching requirements. We have to do a cross-curricular study. We have to do sub-day, which in student teaching, you might not even ever have the chance to write sub-plans or sub in another person's room. So I get the opportunity to do both of those here. I think it's a, a big plus for them as a student teacher. Uh, just to experience all the rigors of teaching because they take over the classroom early on in their, in their situation. And in typical student teaching sessions, they have two weeks where they teach a full time. Here, my student teacher has been teaching for six weeks already. That experience was a great opportunity. I got to do hands-on experiences and see best practice in that classroom. One of the fine things about having a lab school on campus is that university students get to observe kids and work with kids very early in their career. Starting as freshmen, they can come into the building. As soon as we started in the education department, they got us into the field. I went to numerous conferences during this time and the content they were delivering at the conferences that teachers should be using and learning is what we were learning in our classrooms here at Shippensburg University. And so that shows me that I'm learning top of the line material and I'm getting a very valuable education. The, the opportunity for our students to get employment is much higher than in other, other schools and districts because of the experiences here. Uh, they, are, they bring to interviews uh, all the experiences they've done here. They develop units. They teach whole school units in our building. They do substitute teacher day in our building. So they're experiencing all the things that a a regular teacher may be experiencing in their own buildings. I would recommend Shippensburg and the education department here because they are evolving with the current times and with the new standards that are coming out and it's also so hands-on. I would recommend Shippensburg for anyone that is looking to become a teacher because of the rigorous program they set out for us and the amazing field placement opportunities that we have. They just set you up and you are ready to go out and teach afterwards unanimously they leave saying I'm so glad I had that experience because I know when I go out into a teaching world it's not going to be that way. It's not going to be that way unless I make it that way. Come back next week to learn more of the infinite opportunities at the state system's 14 universities or visit us online